Hey, welcome back in, in today's video. I think I just hit the mic. Um, yesterday I did a video on where we talked about Leah Marie Johnson. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, give it a check out. I'll put it in the description below. But the main thing is, is uh, when I did that video, I seen something that's pretty important to talk about and has a lot to do with social media and how we spend our time on social media. Um, I've fell victim to this. You've probably have too, where uh, you, you, you get in an argument with somebody and you feel like you need to validate yourself by arguing back with this person until your point's made. A couple things wrong with this. You're probably talking to a nine-year-old uh, you don't know an anonymous person that more than likely does not care and so you're just having this stressful conversation trying to prove a point to somebody that the point can't be proven to um, what I'm talking about is don't do that it's a vicious cycle I see Leah Marie on her Instagram live streams I know that there's a lot of contributing factors to why exactly she's acting and behaving the way that she is. I feel, and you guys can let me know how you feel about this, that social media stacks on top of problems and puts a lens on problems and uh, makes it worse. I've noticed, it personally, uh, if somebody says something that's just, and you'll see it all the time, people are just gonna say anything to get a reaction. And I start to write, and they write back. Most of the time, they're just trying to aggravate me. They're just trying to get that reaction, but I still keep writing back. And it's like this, like I said, it's this vicious cycle where it's purpose-defeating, and you, you go down this rabbit hole of just stress. Do not play part of that vicious cycle rabbit hole take a break if you're creating content online what I found most helpful for me is have and set aside a dedicated time block to where you're just you're not paying attention to it if you're if you're posting a video post the video comment to a few comments that you feel need to be commented to and then step away don't watch it step away from it you need to have a break in the continuous activity going on in your brain like there has to be um your brain's always on as, as a content creator and i think this isn't talked about enough where your brain's always on and even when you as a youtuber you go to bed you're still thinking like oh man i could have did this different i needed to add this and you're like well it's easy just to get up and go do it so it starts to it, it encompass every aspect of your life and i feel like with uh the, Leah Marie, this is probably something that's happened to her. I mean, clearly there's underlying issues. There's things that she's dealing with deep down. Um, but being on social media, and I know how it affects that. Uh, I don't know what it is. And I mean, this is this could be something that could potentially be down the road, some sort of diagnosis towards what social media and YouTube and just in general digital creation does on the brain. But there's, there's nothing like that as I know of currently, but it makes you feel like terrible. You can't think. Uh, I like to take a piece of paper and write down uh, stimulating thoughts about uh, what am I doing today? What could I have done better? What, uh, here's a good one that you guys can do. You can write down uh, how your life currently is, and then you can write down uh, additionally how you want it to be and then you can compare that and you can break that down into small little goals that you can work towards at least an hour a day away from social media because social media is just makes you feel worse and worse and worse and i've been down the rabbit hole on it multiple times more than i'd like to say and to where i realize now there needs to be a break in the cons in the just constant stream of thought um so to content creators like i said stop the vid video watching, break away from it, and then have, a, have an allotted time specifically for that. 
since you are your own boss, you can break away and you and you have to I know it's difficult you have to dedicate these times and it, you might not get everything done and you feel twisted up inside but you need to make this time specifically to just step away because that's how I'm even inspired right now I I, I made some schedules I got everything ready for the new year and I still find myself, mostly because my computer sucks, uh, I do want to apologize if you guys have noticed that my computer is just, it's it's horrible, it's terrible, it can't do GPU acceleration for my content creators out there, so I've had to really dumb down my editing, that's why the editing is so crappy, because it literally takes like 12 hours to render out a video. I do have another computer on the way, so hopefully... Um, that gets fixed but like I said I'm, I apologize for the really late uploads I'm just trying to get content out for you guys it's definitely not up to par to what I like but yeah sorry about that but um, I guess the main point of this video is to tell you that uh, the other day I woke up late and I felt really stressed out and I had to do content and I I, did, I knew what I was going to do content, but I knew it was going to take me all day. So I sat down at the computer. I was stressed out completely, and then I decided to throw on some, some kind of, you know, you can do indie music, any kind of music that uh, helps you. I put on some classical, and I went and I got my piece of paper, and I wrote down uh, different things, like different things I could do, uh, different parts of, of the processes and different things like that. And then I read a little bit and I took a whole hour and a half to do this. And then I just started get, becoming inspired because I took, I, I broke away from the social media. Be careful because what social media does to me, it, it's most likely do with you. You can let me know it. I get triggered and you just want to keep typing and I, and when I'm triggered it's like this negativity and sometimes when I'm triggered it lasts for days and so I, in an attempt to not be triggered if I have this specific time if I'm supposed to be off at eight o'clock I'm off at eight o'clock now there's sometimes uh, I, I failed that and I just started t uh, tweeting on my phone but one of my main rules is that if I'm at my office, if I'm at if I'm here at this, this desk and this computer, I'm I will check social media. But the second that it's time for me to step away, that's the boundary that I create for myself, and I don't do that. And I'd like to see more content creators do that. I've I've seen a lot of people uh, get triggered, and you just say more than you'd like to say. You, you go down this rabbit hole, and your like your neurons and whatever's going on that synapses, it just becomes numb, and a lot of people end up saying more than they should oversharing uh, and you can't help it it's, it's a thing um, but uh, in situations like with Leah Marie uh, it's stacked on top of the underlying issues so you got all these life struggles and you got all these things that are weighing on you and then there's something that happens when if you do fall down this vicious cycle rabbit hole on social media all that stuff it eventually at the point that you're triggered eventually it just you word vomit and you you start i guess you just forget you're on the internet but i don't know i just felt like for some reason i felt like this is what i needed to talk about today um i hope it's helped someone out there uh like i said i am uh getting a new computer so if the content's a little bit off we're gonna get it's, it's gonna be fixed but what another thing that I am doing since got guys here is I'm trying to figure out different formats my, my top three uh, uh, popular series on channels exploring youtubers which I don't think we've done one of those in this year uh, social commentary and then the rep reports which we haven't done this year um, I, if you will do me a favor and you go back to check my last two videos there's two different formats going on there I'm just really trying to figure out what you guys do like, what you guys don't like. So if you want to help me out, say something in the comments section. Don't forget to get your rep mugs. Uh, merch is one of the best ways to support the channel. As always, it's really good to talk to you. Because um, I know that you're repping. If you're not repping, you're great. And how you? Are you going to subscribe to the Have a good day.